Hey guys, Jeff here with Passive Income Unlocked, and this is the No Stone Unturned Case Study Update number nine. So with nine months behind us now, we are quickly approaching the one year mark, which is pretty crazy because it feels like we just started this site. Um, but anyways, our hope with the one year mark is to be able to apply for Mediavine, which would mean that we need to be at 50,000 sessions per month. Um, we're still a ways off from that, but we are in a pretty good trajectory, which I'll show you in a minute here. So hopefully we'll get there, but we'll just have to wait and see. So what I'm gonna do in this video before I jump into the numbers, kind of take a step back and look at our overall strategy and does it still make sense? Was it a good approach to building a site? Um, do we think it was a good idea? Do we think it's still a good idea and so on? So basically the strategy with this site versus our other sites. So with our other sites first, what we typically would do or what we've always done, I should say, is we'll pick a really broad niche. So take mybackyardlife.com for example. So that's our public site. Pick a broad niche like that, start pretty narrow, Go after something so in that case we went after grilling and more specifically big green egg published a bunch of content around the big green egg then we started to broaden out from there and eventually we hit a point where we just kind of say anything and everything goes and the entire time we are only targeting low competition keywords so eventually we start targeting all sorts of low competition keywords across the board on our site it obviously works we've had good success with our sites um, but they start to get really really big pretty quickly and they're not very cohesive. So that's something that we don't really like about our sites currently, and that's something we wanted to test with this site. So to contrast that with our case study site, what we've done, we picked a broad niche, but not nearly as broad as our other sites. And we are starting with one topic, just like we do, um, like we have with our other sites, but we are covering that topic very, very thoroughly before we move on to another one. And we are not gonna start just publishing random articles at any point in time. So basically we pick one topic, and we publish all the content we can find. So every keyword we can find on that topic, whether it's low competition or high competition, we publish all the articles we can on that topic until it's done. And then we move on to topic number two and move on from there. At the same, same time, um, we add internal links within all these articles or between these articles, I should say. And we add internal links between the clusters of articles if it makes sense to do so as well. We're just doing this wherever it makes sense. So if it makes sense to link from A to B and from article B to C and so on, we'll do that. If it doesn't make sense, we don't do it. Um, we don't force links or anything like that. We don't have any kind of rigid structure. We just link wherever it makes sense. So that's the basic strategy. Um, so just when we visit this site now, I have to say I'm, I'm really liking the approach that we've taken on this site. This feels like a really cohesive site. When you visit the site, it just makes a lot of sense as a visitor. You visit the home page and it's just structured really, really well. Um, when it, when you go to a topic, you can just see that everything you'd want to find about that topic is right there. When you're on an article, there's so many internal links within each article that links out to the other articles on the site. That makes sense that you can really find what you want to find. Um, and what I found is actually we've gotten quite a few comments on this um, site already. And I don't mean like on the YouTube channel, I mean on the site itself, we've gotten a lot of comments already which is pretty unusual for us at this stage in the site. And the comments are really good comments um, that just make sense with the type of content that we're posting where people are asking really relevant questions. You can tell they're kind of diving into the articles and so on. So I have to say, just kind of taking a step back and looking at it um, at this point in time, really happy with what we're seeing. Um, I think it's something that we can apply to our other sites down the road. Now we're gonna start um, targeting high competition keywords on all of our sites. Um, probably not, not until we really um, rank up in domain authority and whatnot. But I do think there's going to be, it's going to make more sense to start trying to post more relevant content around topics on our sites um, before moving on from one topic to another. And that's something we've already started to do. All right. So with that behind us, I'm going to jump into the numbers real quick here and the rest of the video is going to be really fast. So first I'm going to pull up a screenshot of the post publish. So as you can see here, we published close to 30 posts in July. Um, and that's just more of a matter. We, we didn't really um, lower the number of posts that we're publishing or anything like that. That's just kind of a matter of when we're getting the posts back from um, the outsourcing service um, because we are outsourcing all of these posts and they just kind of, kind of come back whenever they come back. And when we get them, we publish them. Simple as that. So next I'll bring up a screenshot of the topic clusters on the site. So we've been working on cluster number 10 here for the entire month. And this is a big one. We're still not done yet already over 40 posts. I think it's gonna be up over 50 by the time it's done and we move on to the next one. So next I will bring up the traffic screenshots here. So the probably the most interesting ones to look at. So two screenshots here. The first one is from Search Console. And as you can see here, um, trending up nicely, not quite exponential growth or anything like that, but it's still really good growth, still moving in the right direction. 
as we'd like to see. And the last one here, this is from Google Analytics. So this is showing all traffic, not just Google search. And as you can see there, we were um, right around the 15,000 page view mark for last month in July. Um, so pretty good progress. I mean, we'd like to be higher than that. But again, with this approach we're taking on this site, probably only about half of our posts are targeting low competition keywords. And those are the ones that are bringing in the traffic. So to be at about 15,000 page views is still pretty good. Um, what's going to be interesting to see is when we get to like the one and a half year mark, the two year mark, do we start to really rank for some of those higher competition keywords as well. And if we do, then the traffic on the site could grow really, really fast to really high numbers. So we'll just kind of have to wait to see what happens. So guys, that's it for this one. Um, keep your eyes peeled for another update in about a month.